Hello, everybody. And today we shall be discussing about some important laptop configurations which you really need before you buy any laptops. Okay, so in today's lecture, let us understand all these things in detail. I've prepared a PPT for you wherein things will be more clear. Okay, so here we go. So laptop configurations for data science. If you are into machine learning or deep learning, what all laptops as a student you should take? The first thing is that uh, these are really important before you buy. So uh, let's go on to the first one is the processor. Very important part because uh, the more powerful your processor is, the faster it is to complete the task. So here we have AMD, Intel. Um, now, what is generally being suggested is that you get the latest generation because it is really updated and all the modifications are there in that updated processor. So, but if you're on a low budget, you can go for AMD fifth and fourth generation, but on a higher budget, you can go for seventh generation and so on. Intel eighth generation would be good. So I'm just talking about at a beginner level also, and I will take care and I will specifically mention if it goes on a higher side, but this is the prerequisite that it should be powerful. So you can go for AMD fifth, seventh generation, and um, let's move on to the second point and that is core and thread so core is nothing but hardware actually and threads give instruction okay to these cores which can be processed by a single you know cpu core so what happens is that the higher number of cores you have the better the laptop performance is so you should ideally go for you know four cores eight threads or if you can go for a higher budget it is six cores 12 threads or eight cores 18 threads or higher so uh, as the core increases, your budget also increases, okay? Because this really makes your, your laptop powerful because it can process, it can work very fast. So ideally, minimum four cores, eight threads. If the laptop is meeting that specification, go for it. The third thing to mention is uh, the RAM, okay? So uh, to start with machine learning and deep learning, minimum requirement is eight GB, not more than that. But if you want, like, if you want to go for next and higher level, to, you can extend that memory in your laptop. Okay, you can go for extension of your lab uh, memory or 12 GB, 16 GB, whatever your budget allows. 8 GB is sufficient. Okay. Now the fourth one is storage requirement. Now this is a little bit big, but this is really very important because I too had a doubt when I wanted my own, you know, laptop. So which specification whether hdd or sdd should you prefer so first understand what is this hdd and sdd hdd is what this is your hard disk space okay but uh, you know over the time the technology has evolved and so we came up with smart disk space okay so what happens here is that hdds they are slow and they require more time to boot up and you know uh, what happens that when you always when you open up your laptop it takes a lot of time for them to open up to boot up it gets heated up it reduces your durability and also reliability there's delay in processing the information so these are a few disadvantage of hdd but the plus point is that they are economical i mean if you go for a laptop which is having hdd as a storage space then you can get it cheap economical as compared to sdd but sdd they are more powerful than hdds and they have no moving parts and superior uh, performance and um, what is this i mean the standard storage size that you should look for is 512 gb for sdd okay you can get one tb for you know hdd but it depends upon your requirement whether you want such huge storage in your laptop or you are using any external storages so if you want to load so much of you know uh, data into your laptop then go for hdd Okay, because it gives you a lot of space to store in all your files. But if you want faster processing and you want to keep less data in your laptop, 512 GB is huge, you know. Uh, if you can, if you can, you know, memory space utilization, if you know that concept, how do you really efficiently manage that space? So 512 GB is decent. You can go for SDD 512 GB. Laptops are really good, fast, and are better and superior in performance. Moving on to our next specification configuration is, okay, GPU. Now this is again important. 
what is this GPU? This is graphical processing, you know, just as we have CPU and stuff. But the main thing is that this is responsible for all your graphics. Uh, it is basically, you know, suggested for gaming laptops, but now even for machine learning and deep learning tasks, because now since its scope is, you know, increasing day by day, so it's good that you have, if your laptop has a 4 GB NVIDIA GPU card. So these graphics are actually two, one is AMD and another is NVIDIA. Now, uh, which one should you prefer? It's like if you are using TensorFlow library and which uses a CUDA processor and this complies only with NVIDIA graphics card. So by default, most of the computers, laptop are coming with NVIDIA, okay? So uh, GPU size, 4 GB, 4 GB GPU sufficient, okay? And if, if like if you want to go for uh, higher, it depends upon you whether what gaming interest you are in. But uh, what is recommended 4GB will do good for you. Another advantage is that an average GPU has more than 100 cores than a standard CPU has four or eight cores. Okay, so suppose like you're you're taking off more burden from your CPU and giving a specialized task to GPU, which can perform it efficiently. So give that task to GPU. But if your laptop is coming with a 4 GB GPU, NVIDIA, it's great. The next specification is display or resolution. What should be the display size of your screen? So ideally 15.6 inch or 17.3 inch display is fine. 15.3, 15.6 inch is classic. 14 inch would be a little small, but if you can use a desktop, uh, you know, uh, connecting your laptop to a desktop for a more wider vision, higher resolution, then that is a different option you have, okay? And you can also buy a monitor, that's what I said, and you can connect it with your laptop. So, um, and it can be like 22, 26, 24 inches, you can extend that. Now, display resolution, this can be full HD, that is 1080 pixels, or HD 720 pixels, okay? So, seven this is what recommended don't go below this because the quality would be sacrificed compromised then seventh point which is again essential and that is your eyes okay so take care of your eyes because because these are the beautiful things the most beautiful organ that we have and choose a laptop that has blue light filtering technology and flicker free screens okay because it really helps you because all the time you are on the screen it just affects uh, what i i also do is i have uh, my specs and they are also having some anti gear glasses so this has helped me as you can see in the light they are blue so now uh, this this helped me to reduce my number also yes i wear specs okay so next thing is uh, the, these are the affordable uh, now uh, okay so i think this has just ended up these eyes were the last point i, I just wanted to wrap up now with the uh, the affordable laptops for data science is another video which you should refer because here i am showing you all the laptops with their price range on amazon and their specification under seventy thousand. it starts from fifty thousand to seventy thousand. so in this it will it is lenovo it is uh, um there is hp dell and uh, gaming platform uh, laptops also acer so, so these uh, laptops at very affordable price right now is available on Amazon. So that video is also there. You can go and check that out. The rest, I will provide all the links in the description box if you want, if you need further details for that. Also, you can comment in the comment section, any questions, any further videos, any more specifications for a beginner, how to start data science, machine learning. So there are already, you know, dedicated playlists for that. But in case you want more support, you want more clarity you can have um zoom classes with me because i'm starting that and soon i will be launching a full search program schedule for that so yeah more is still to come and um, thank you for watching thank you guys